symbols seem to play a significant part in your work with young people. Uh, it's a way of helping them to, to understand basic Christian concepts and, and teaching. Symbols that might, for example, make the, the meaning of brokenness and uh, forgiveness and reconciliation uh, much more readily uh, accessible and, and understandable. Can you give us some ideas or examples of ways in which you have used uh, symbols to communicate that kind of idea? Teenagers um, are at heart poets, right? They, they think deeply, they react deeply, uh, they are very open to image and symbol and story. One of the ways that we have uh, recently tried to communicate the idea of forgiveness or the opening stages of forgiveness uh, was to take a, a beautiful picture that had been uh, thrown by one of the brothers at Taizé and I held it up and I admired its beauty. Right? I admired its perfection, the right choice of glaze, all the surface improvements that were made, the glossy coat, the lack of imperfection. In fact, it's perfection on the surface. And then I threw it up in the air and let it land on the ground and break into many pieces. And thankfully it broke into many pieces so I didn't have to rewrite the sermon. Um, but there those pieces were on the ground and I reminded the young people that perfection is not what God would have from us. In fact, perfection is unattainable. Perfection is a waste of time and energy. What God wants from us is us, including the broken bits. That time spent owning our brokenness helps us to become whole, and in that respect, helps us to become holy. So we took those broken pieces and we handed them out to everybody and they had to carry it around with them for the rest of the week and really reflect on their brokenness, right? They're kind of dazzlingly wonderful parts and the parts of them that are flawed or broken, the parts that they would love to see improved but the parts that cannot be improved. To really own that because as they reminded me later in the week, the only way you can really forgive someone is to meet them in their brokenness. And the only way to do that is to own your own. So they came up with uh, embrace your brokenness out of that homily and out of that experience. And, and I, for one, certainly learned a lot from them as a result.